Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here. And today we're taking a look at another LBX kit, this time the Hyperfunction LBX Nemesis. This is number four in the Hyperfunctions line, and you may be noticing that it has a rename. It originally was the Lucifer, but they changed it because I'm pretty sure Bandai Spirits wants to sell this in the West at some point. So yeah, they can't really name this thing Lucifer because we know four kids and Mothers of America, they're pretty much gonna come after Bandai. Now, if you want to pick up this kit or any other LBX kit, you can go to NewTypeHQ.com, use that promo code CROSAMA, and you can get yourself 10% off any purchase. So, let's get on to the review. So, starting with the head design, it looks amazing. I love the horns, I love the aesthetics. The one thing that really kind of trips me up is that it is like a white knight almost, or, you know, like an angel, a very holy angel, and that's kind of what Lucifer was, you know, holy angel, and then turn bad. So, I... I like what they went with this. They didn't go the whole dark aesthetic, but there is a dark form whenever it's like all beat up and cracked, and that form looks really cool, but unfortunately there's no actual, you know, model kit of that. I think there's a recoloring, but that's a limited kit. Uh, but anyways, this is a really cool head sculpt, and I love the horns on it. And on the back side, there's going to be some clear purple, and that just looks really cool. Kind of hard to see, and you're probably not going to see it many a times just due to the way that it's posed, because you're not going to be seeing the back side of this kit, hopefully. I don't, I don't think you would on your shelf. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be kind of hidden. However, if you really want to bring it out, you could definitely do some uh, magic painting tricks, and you can go ahead and get that purple bright and vibrant. And the same can be said for the eyes. I love them. There is a silver sticker that goes behind it. However, it's really dull. I, you're going to have to use maybe a chrome paint or something, and that's going to bring out the eyes a little bit more. So whenever I do decide to ever paint this kit, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to paint some chrome, and hopefully that's going to make those eyes bright and just stand out. Now onto the chest, which has like a, a fish face. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like if that's the, the mouth right here, and then you got the eyes. It kind of looks like a fish or a frog. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that's just like the first thing I noticed. However, it looks great. You're going to have the clear purple on it. There's also another um, silver sticker, but even with the light that I have shining, you really can't see um, any kind of reflective you know, effects on it. It just kind of looks really dull. So you're going to have to bust out that chrome pen, which, you know, once again, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can get that all oh, bright and purple. For the arms, nothing really special here. They look cool. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of the pointy shoulder pads. They kind of get in the way more so, and then if you have it in you know, certain dynamic poses, it's going to block the face, and I really don't like that. But hey, it's kind of a give and take. I got a lot of cool things on this kit, so there's one thing, which would be the shoulders, that I'm just not too fond of. Now for the waist, eh, nothing really too special here. Uh, they look really cool. The back side is going to have like these little pointy parts right here. Uh, it's just really all aesthetic. That's pretty much it. And lastly for the body, there's going to be the legs. The feet are probably the coolest part because they are going to have the high heel aesthetic like a lot of the cool Xeon Gundams have. I don't know. I'm a big fan of it. So it's really neat. The uh, knee pads are pretty cool. I don't really have much of a problem with these legs. I think they look awesome. And this entire kit is just... You know, really fantastic with the colors that they chose. The yellow, I think, could, you know, once again be changed to maybe a gold leaf, but that's something I can go ahead and fix on my own. Now, for the articulation, we are going to have a ball joint at the top of the neck so that way it can move all around, and the base can actually move back and forth. Ball joint for the shoulder, and then this is just going to connect, um, like, pretty much simply, like so, so it's going to be able to move up and down. Rotation at the bicep. Two points of articulation in the elbow. It's going to get a pretty decent bend. Ball joint for the wrist. Rotation at the waist. This is going to be a peg and socket for the back skirt, which it falls off fairly frequently, so be mindful of that. And then these little parts right here are going to be on little uh, ball joints. Hinge here. Hinge here. The hips are going to be in the ball and socket, so nah, you're going to get a decent movement for you know just poses and basic stuff. But don't expect anything that's going to be too dynamic. Swivel at the thigh. Two points of articulation at the knee. Ball joint for the feet. And a toe bend. So when it comes to articulation, this kit really isn't bad. It's pretty much on par with all the other hyperfunction kits. Now let's take a look at the wings. These are technically floating behind it in the series. 
and this is just you know clear piece so it's kind of giving you the illusion that this is floating behind it uh, but this is going to rotate up and down and then this can rotate within place uh, the clear purple is going to look really good and highly glossy so that is always going to be a perk and the front and back are basically going to be the same and it connects on the back like so now with the wings on, I highly recommend a stand because this thing is just not gonna be able to stand up as effectively if it's on its feet. It's possible, but it is probably gonna be falling once or twice while on your shelf. And if you put it on the edge of your shelf, well, it's probably gonna fall on the ground. So just go ahead and get a little mini stand for whatever stand is comfortable with you and just display it like that. Now let's show off the sword. It's gonna come in a clear purple and yellow hilt. Now it's also gonna have a little hand, but unfortunately the back of the hand is gonna be taken from the base hand. And with the sword in hand, you're gonna be able to pull off some pretty sick poses with it. Now for those dynamic poses, you're gonna get an expressive open left hand. And let us not forget the shield, which is going to have, once again, the clear purple. It's going to have some black and some yellow. And, I mean, I love it. I think it looks fantastic. And the overall aesthetic is very unique and pretty much perfect for the Hyperfunction Lucifer. And also connects directly into the hand. Now you're going to get some color correcting stickers as well as some marking stickers, all of which I didn't use because I am going to paint this in the future. For height comparisons, here he is next to the Hyperfunction Emperor, the High Grade RX-78-2, and the Master Grade RX-78-2. So here are my final thoughts. Honestly, this kit is borderline perfect. A couple of issues, which would be uh, the hands, the you know armor on the outside of the hands, that tends to fall off every once in a while. Uh, the back skirts, those parts tend to fall off. And there's one part on the shoulder that tends to pop out all the time. I don't know if maybe it's just the way I built it or if it's the actual construction. But yeah, it has a couple of fitting issues that isn't really a big deal. You can glue it and it wouldn't you know, be any kind of problem. Um, even like the back skirts, you can kind of just glue it in a fixed uh, pose and you actually will be fine. Otherwise, this kit is really amazing it is perfect for the lbx line especially perfect for the hyperfunction line it's something i really hope that bandai looks at and they say hey these kits are doing really well hopefully they are doing well i, I think they are and they release more they've already gave us odin give us more re-release the old ones like the e freak and the uh, the deed I, I want more of these kits to be in the public eye but otherwise, if you did not get into the series or you're not planning to and you still watch this video just out of curiosity, um, you know, definitely give it some thought. But I do thank you for at least checking this out and giving it the opportunity to at least maybe influence you. If it did not, uh, then maybe next time, whenever I review an LBX kit, I could probably get you into this rhythm and you can get your own LBX kits and join the fandom. Uh, but other than that, guys, definitely thank you all for watching. This kit was amazing. Go to NewTypeHQ.com if you want to go ahead and pick one up for yourself. Uh, but with that, I'll be seeing you in the next review. Bye-bye.